Ever, but not that much. I was just gonna say, Carlos, <laughs> well, I feel see. like I've just not I known see. a life without you uh, being someone that I've watched, admired, loved for. I mean, I'm obsessed with your new show. Girls on the Bus is like a sweet spot for me because it's about that subject of people who follow the politicians and find their way of letting us know what's going on. Yeah, there are these journalists who are competitors and trying to get the story, you know, whoever can get the story fastest and out there with the most um, clarity and honesty, um, but that they all do have different perspectives, different political perspectives, different life experiences, um, different ideologies, and yet, they don't, it's not about betraying yours for another person. It's about you can support that other person even if they don't believe in the same thing as you. And that's actually, to me, what I, the world needs. Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. so for me, that was really an important. And to do it in the world with a backdrop of politics, I think is a, is a really cool thing. What I also love about it is that it's really fun. It's light. It's yeah. celebratory. It's about female friendship. And how do we share the space with each other, yeah. empower each other, you know, I know this is a strange pivot and segue, but <laughs> my daughters and I are obsessed with Troop Beverly Hills, and you're in it. Yes. So I can't even handle... What was doing that movie like? Well, the funny thing on that movie is that if you notice in that um, picture that you showed that I'm tall, which I'm not, <laughs> and it's the only time I will be taller than people who are theoretically my age because I was 16, but I looked really young, so I pretended I was 14, and it was before everybody could tell your age on IMDb or whatever. Isn't it amazing? And we used to get away with so much. We used much. to get away with so much more. So, but basically, I, I, I said I was 14, I got the job, we were enough into the shoot that I felt like I couldn't get fired, and then I told the director, and he said, oh, wow, if I knew you were 16, I wouldn't have given you the job. And I was like, this is reinforcing me lying. I wanted to like have my telling the truth be a good thing. But anyway, it was, we had a great time. It was an amazing shoot, and I'm so glad I got to do well, it. Well, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm so glad you did lie. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well, Bon Jovi just posted on Instagram that his 1994 song, Always, well, that video just hit one billion with a B views. And that's you in the video! <laughs> that is you! That is true. <laughs> well, that ain't a kid in Troop Beverly Hills anymore. <laughs> what, how was that? What do you remember from doing that video? That is so funny. Uh, I remember that I ended up playing the bad girl and Carrie Russell plays the good girl. So it was, and there were flames and pyrotechnics and I mean, it was a production. So I had a blast. I mean, anytime you get, you know, asked to like play with a hat and straddle a chair. I mean, you got to go for it, you know? No kidding. Um, so it was, but that's that's amazing that it has lived a life where it has a billion views. Well, it really has. I remember also, you, did you, you were on ALF mm -hmm. and the Wonder Years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, Good Morning, Miss Bliss, which then became Saved by the Bell. Oh, my God. God, um, come so on! You were on every <laughs> great television show. <laughs> so, uh, it was funny. Don't even get me started on The Haunting of Hill House, where Elliot from E.T., Henry Thomas. Did you know it was going to be that good? Did you, did you know it was going to resonate with people when you were making it? You know what? I knew it was going to be really good, but whether something hits in the zeitgeist, you know. You just don't know, Can right? Can it find that, an that, audience? That is, like, out of our control. So that part of it was so amazing, to, to, to see how something resonated to that extent. Because we're all looking to be turned on to things. I feel that so same way. thank you so much. And I'll turn you on, by the way. Yes. The girls, the girls on the bus. And it's on HBO Max, so you know where to find that. And it's on every Thursday. And um, Carla Gugina, thank you so, <laughs> so much for doing this. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you.